South Florida is not known for harsh winters, but is famous for its falling iguanas, the state's most damaging invasive creatures. So when it gets extremely cold, below around 40 degrees Fahrenheit, their muscles essentially don't work. The proteins within the muscles don't work, and so they're not able to move. After a really cold event, uh, lizards like iguanas have lower thermal tolerances, so it seems like they're able to change. Christian Cox is an assistant professor of evolutionary biology at Florida International University in Miami. He, along with James Stroud, a researcher from Washington University, have been studying the relationship between iguanas and weather since 2020. Researchers found lizard species are able to withstand slightly lower temperatures than they could even just four years earlier, a drop of about two degrees Fahrenheit. Why are the iguanas adapting to the cold weather and when did you start seeing this change? Through evolutionary adaptation, which would require um, changes in how frequent certain genes that are associated with dealing with cold weather would be, or through something called acclimation. Acclimation is just what happens, for example, if somebody moves to Denver, Colorado, where there's less oxygen, and over a few months they get used to it and their body is better able to deal with that low oxygen. Well, iguanas can do the same sort of thing when they move to uh, areas that have colder environments and they might be able to deal with it. What's your prediction in the next few years? Well, it all depends what happens with the climate. Right, extreme cold events, just like extreme heat events and hurricanes, uh, are relatively unpredictable, both in their frequency and, and their magnitude. On first warning, meteorologist Vanessa Vinent, WPBF 25 News.